hardly ever see people wearing Valentino bags, let alone the Valentino pink collection. I, I don't know if the Gucci Jackie is going to be as popular or have as much as a boom as the Marmot did. I honestly have only seen this bag on Instagram and gifted to influencers. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. If you love shopping and handbag videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. As today I wanted to talk about bags that I've seen on Instagram that I feel are very hyped and maybe perhaps they were gifted to influencers to advertise. I am not you know, saying I hate influencers or anything like this, but I am well aware that on Instagram there are lots of people who are hired to advertise uh, these brands such as Dior, Louis Vuitton, Miu Miu, Prada. There, there's all these influencers who are gifted bags and it is their job to sell them to you. They are hired as influencers because they're beautiful, they're, they're living this lavish lifestyle and you know, you look at their Instagram and you think, wow, they're so perfect and rich and cool and I, and maybe if I buy that Miu Miu bag, well, I can be cool too. You know that sounds ridiculous, guys, but there are so many things that I've noticed on Instagram, like the same bag being gifted to uh, really big influencers. And I wanted to talk about those bags today and whether they're actually bags that we see in our everyday life. Because a lot of these bags that I see on I Instagram, I really do not see in my everyday life. Now, I live in Melbourne, Australia, and I would say it's a pretty trendy, fashionable city. And depending on where you live, you're going to see different sorts of designer bags, if any designer bags. There are definitely some shopping malls in Melbourne that I don't see anyone wearing any designer bags. It's more just like Mimco or Strand bags. But in my local shopping centre, I do see a lot of people wearing mainly Chanel actually Hermes as well and Louis Vuitton but there are some other like hyped bags that I see a lot on YouTube and Instagram that I really just don't see people wearing in real life. So the first bag is this Miu Miu cargo bag. There was like a period of a few weeks where I saw a lot of different influencers advertise this bag. I feel like this cargo trend is something that really young adults are wearing like between the ages of like 16, that's not even adult, but like 16 to like 21, I see a lot of girls wearing these like corset tops with these baggy cargo pants, which I feel like is a very um, m like mass trend. And I, I don't know if that trend is dying yet, but this whole cargo pockets trend uh, is something that Miu Miu was obvi is obviously still inspired by. And you know, you've seen a lot of their ready to wear, they have a kind of Y2K aesthetic. I feel like that kind of style is starting to become less popular but you know the whole cargo pants look um was very trendy with younger people you'd think that you know Miu Miu being a bit of a young youthful brand this bag would be super duper popular and I feel like probably Miu Miu released this bag at the end of the trend and and maybe if they released it sooner it could have been super popular but also the thing is like really young people don't tend to have like lots of money either so it's a bag that I don't think appeals to people who are like over 27 to be honest it's a very just the shape of it it's very yeah I don't know it's it's almost too trendy but I just I feel like it could have been successful, but maybe I just never see anyone wearing this in real life. So that tells me it's just, it was something that was pushed on Instagram. But let me know, guys, do you know anyone who bought this handbag? Because I really have not seen it on anyone um, in real life. Like Miu Miu as a brand, I feel like to me anyway, it was like at its peak in like 2010, was it? I don't know what year that was, guys. Do you remember that year where they had all the satin platforms and like the little uh, collared shirts with the naked ladies and the cat platforms? I feel like that was the peak of Miu Miu. And ever since then, it's been very hard for like the masses to get into Miu Miu again. Apart from like maybe the sunglasses and a, maybe like even that little pochette bag, that could have been a really like sellout thing that was popular with the masses but it wasn't because Miu Miu as a brand it's very hard to compete against brands like Chanel and even Gucci and Louis Vuitton because Miu Miu they just haven't been as popular as they once were but I wonder if Miu Miu will have another resurgence we'll wait and see but I don't think this bag was 
one of those bags that became super popular to be honest. Similarly there is a Prada bag that came out called the Moon Bag and I saw this gifted to a lot of different influencers and when it popped up on my Instagram I thought like is that seriously the new like it bag because it also is, is similar to the cargo bag from Miu Miu. It's a similar kind of aesthetic like Y2K with the big buckle. I think for people who are older who can afford luxury it's almost too like close to when it was cool. Like I feel like we need a bigger break from Y2K because for me like this is reminds me of something that I would have liked when I was 11 years old and now that I'm 31 I'm like I guess yeah, it has been like 20 years, but like this style just reminds me of like Guess or really old Louis Vuitton or really old Gucci. It's just something that I don't necessarily associate with Prada with this big buckle, but they're trying to make it like a throwback Y2K bag and you see it, you know, I feel like it's marketed towards younger people like under 25, but yeah, it is still really expensive and I've never seen anyone in real life wear this bag. Unlike the, the Prada Crystal and like the Prada Pochette bag, they were super popular, but this one, I haven't seen it like blow up yet, but maybe it's just a waiting game. Maybe it will blow up eventually. I just honestly have only seen this bag on Instagram and gifted to influencers. But let me know guys if you feel differently about this bag as well. Also the du jour bag, Dijoy bag. It's like the East West style of the Lady Dior. I have never seen anyone in real life wear this bag. I see it a lot in Dior. Like the Dior window displays are immaculate. They're always gorgeous. I see this gifted to a lot of big influencers and even like Jisoo from Blackpink. She's a Dior ambassador. I've seen her with the Lady Dijoy. I think I even saw her with a Hello Kitty plushie hanging off it, which honestly was selling it to me. But um, um, I just don't know guys. I never, I don't know if this bag blew up as much as Dior. Well, maybe it depends on the country because I know in Australia I never see anyone wearing this bag but maybe in like US and Asia this bag did really blow up. I do still see people with like the regular mini Lady Dior. I think that that bag will always be popular and a lot of people bought the mini one like a few years back but this East West style it also it's a similar it is similar to like Y2K because you know in the early 2000s we did see a lot more of these East West styles so maybe again it's just too trendy and it's appealing to like super young people who maybe don't have enough money to afford these bags yet but I don't know what do you think do you think this bag blew up because yeah I have not seen anyone in real life wear this East West Lady Dior either I've also never seen anyone wear Valentino bags in general. I only ever see people wearing the Rockstar uh, bag from like a few years back when the Rockstars were super cool and I know Valentino are trying to like reinvigorate their Rockstar shoes and make them look classic and they are I guess classic in a way but their bags I don't feel like have been relevant for many years but I still see a lot of influences with this uh, Valentino bag which has the big V on it. Oh what is it called? It's called the I don't know what it's called, but I'll put a picture of the, of it on the screen. But I hardly ever see people wearing this Valentino bag with the big V. It is rather expensive. Um, and I know Valentino really tried to make their brand appeal to the masses in a way when they uh, pushed that pink campaign. You saw a lot of celebrities and influencers decked out in these big pink um, outfits. And I they even had a few pop-ups in different um, parts of the world of this Valentino pink campaign and I think they were hoping that would shine a lot of light on the brand of Valentino and kind of make their bags more hype but I really don't think Valentino bags have been popular for a really long time and I hardly ever see people wearing Valentino bags let alone the Valentino pink collection. I think you know it was just very obnoxious they were really trying to smack us in the face with the pink and it was super popular for honestly like a few weeks and now guys who's talking about it nobody like it was it came in the blink of an eye and like any like kind of trend it kind of comes and goes really fast and I really think that these particularly these pink Valentino bags were so popular and then we just forgot about it even though we saw it a lot in our social media just try not to get sucked into trends like that guys because although they seem like they're like the coolest thing ever and they're so fun like honestly if you're not in love with it if you're just getting influenced because the person who's wearing it is like really 
pretty and has a lovely, amazing lifestyle, like, it's probably not the best reason to be influenced to buy a bag because, you know, you might find that you buy this pink bag and you're like, oh, wait a sec, like, do I even like pink? And, and do I, and I feel like this is so two weeks ago. Like, I, honestly, fashion is getting like that, guys. Like, trends are coming, coming and going. And that's why I think it's sometimes dangerous to buy too many bags that you get influenced by to buy from these influencers who are paid to wear them. I mean, you can definitely be influenced by an influencer and find a bag that you love and wear it for many years. That can happen as well. But I think if you're only buying bags because you're influenced, you're really just gonna, it's really hard to keep up with the trans guys because it just, you know, they become irrelevant really fast. Also, I noticed that Gucci is really trying to push their bags to influencers as well, such as the Jackie bag and that little top handle bamboo style. I've seen a lot of those on my Instagram feed lately. And I think that Gucci is really trying to go back to their like heritage in a way and have that more like quiet luxury look because you know the past few years they've really been over the top with their style a little bit more street style and like bling bling and they're trying to scale it back and they're trying to make uh, their bags look really classic and relevant to the time but I honestly don't see a lot of people wearing uh, the Jackie bag or this like little Gucci top handle bag as much as like the Marmont honestly I see the Marmont everywhere I feel like in the disco bag I feel like those really are the hot sellers of Gucci and that's really what made Gucci boom back in like 2018 like the brand was dying for a while guys and Alessandro Michaela completely rejuvenated the brand as much as everybody loves like Tom Ford's Gucci um like honestly if you think back to 2018 like Gucci was super booming and as much as Gucci don't want to uh I kind of want to change and become like evolve into another brand again I don't know guys, I don't know if the Gucci Jackie is going to be as popular or have as much as a boom as the Marmont did or even like these like top handle bamboo bags because the thing is like Gucci is just so much more expensive than it was a few years ago as well. The majority of people like uh, who are you know not super rich are probably not going to be as inclined to spend like $5,000 on a bamboo bag necessarily as they might be more willing honestly to save up and buy, I don't know, even like a secondhand Chanel bag probably because the, the, the rate that prices are going up as well, I think people are, re it's really hard to compete. Like for these brands, they're constantly competing for a portion of the market to sell their bags to. I feel Gucci is like super trying to push their bags at the moment as well but I don't know if it's going to be as popular as it was a few years ago with the Dionysus and the Marmont but I guess we'll have to wait and see if these influencing if if like um, all these images we're seeing on Instagram uh, have effect and we start seeing it in our real lives as well but let me know what sort of bags do you see around in your local shopping centers or uh, places where you live because you know depending on where you live I know that different styles and different brands are trending and yeah, it's just interesting to see how different Instagram is to your real life as well in terms of fashion sense and the way that people dress. So anyways, thanks for listening to my video today. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys on my next one. Bye!